Hey guys, welcome back to Alicia Never Lands. Today we are back at Disney World. So our flight is always about five or six hours long and we always choose to take the red eye. So we do always leave around 9 or 10 p.m. and then we get to Orlando at 6 a.m. Since we do have an Alaskan Airlines credit card, we do always try to fly with them because then we get two free checked bags between the two of us. We did have some extra time here to spend in the Orlando airport and we were able to catch a glimpse at this really cool sculpture of the Traveler. And just like that, we are back at Walt Disney World, the most magical place on earth. Our first stop is Disney's Contemporary Resort. As you can see, this resort is currently under construction because they are refurbishing the rooms and updating them so they are Incredibles themed. And this building that is connected by the walkway is the DVC Resort Bay Lake Tower. This morning we do have reservations for the Wave Breakfast and this restaurant is currently under construction so for right now this breakfast is offered in the California Grill restaurant which is in the 15th floor of the Contemporary Resort. Hey friends, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you listen closely, you can hear a Disney character say what floor you're on. Welcome to the California Grill restaurant. But this morning, they are serving the way of breakfast. And if you can kind of see out the windows, you can see Cinderella Castle. I ordered the Mickey waffle breakfast and Colton ordered the eggs benedict and everything was absolutely amazing as always. The California Grill has a rooftop terrace that you can go out on and look at Cinderella Castle from and the view is absolutely gorgeous. <music> One of the main perks of this resort is that the monorail goes right through it and goes directly to Magic Kingdom and to Ticket and Transportation Center so you can take the other monorail to Epcot. The construction is a lot more noticeable here in the inside of this resort and they do not have a time period listed as to when it will be done yet. But the resort is still able to be booked and you can stay here in other rooms outside of this tower. This is the Fantasia gift shop and every single Disney resort has a gift shop that includes Disney merchandise at. This art piece in the lobby of the Contemporary Resort is a famous mural that was done by Mary Blair which has also done very many other pieces throughout Disney. Every Disney resort also has a Disney Vacation Club table at that you can get more information about it from. And this resort actually has a lot of different food options. Outer Rim is a bar and lounge, and Chef Mickey's is a character meal buffet, and the Contempo Cafe is a quick service restaurant. These are some of the options that you can order from the quick service restaurant of Contempo Cafe and you can mobile order any of these options. So mobile order is super easy. You can do it through the Disney World app and you can pre-order stuff and just have it ready for you to pick it up. 
This resort also offers character drawings that do range from anywhere from $20 to $35 to get a picture drawn of you. They also have a fuel rod station here, which is a portable charger that you can buy for $30 and then swap it out for a fully charged new one for $3 each time you see one of these fuel rod stations. As we were leaving the resort, we did walk down one of the main hallways that was blocked off partially due to the construction that's going on. But Disney is always so awesome and puts out these signs that say, please pardon our appearance. This area is being refurbished for your future enjoyment. This is the first beautiful iridescent decor that we have seen for the world's most magical celebration. Disney World's 50th anniversary, which is beginning on October 1st. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe so you guys can stay updated on all the future fun videos that I post from our Orlando, Florida trip. And until next time, here we go.